In the previous lessons, we learned how to calculate Q equal to m cat, and Q is heat, and the unit for heat is joule. And Q or heat is equal to mass times specific heat capacity for that particular substance. So different substance will have different C times the delta T, and delta is always final minus initial. In order to use this equation, we need to know the unit for each of the variable. Well, Q is heat, and heat is measured in joule, and then M is your mass, which is in grams, and C is your specific heat capacity, which is joule over grams times Celsius. So therefore, this T right here must be in Celsius. And in the process, we also learn that when Q is negative, we know that it is loss in energy. And when Q is positive, it is gaining energy. So it's important to understand if Q is going to be positive or negative based on the problem. And one last thing that we are going to apply in this lesson is that when we have a loss in energy. The amount of energy loss is equal to the amount of energy being gained. That's why we have negative Q equal to positive Q. Now let's apply these two concepts to solve some problem. How many joules are needed to warm? Think about warming. Warming to warm something, you take in energy, right? Okay. To warm twenty-seven point zero grams, and this right here would be your mass right there. Okay. Of copper. And this is the substance copper, and we know that from thirty degrees Celsius to eighty-five degrees Celsius. So think of the terminology from that would be initial. So this would be your initial temperature right here, and then from to where? Well, in this case, to eighty-five. So that's your final. So don't try to memorize smaller number minus larger number or larger minus number smaller. Think of the basic English terminology. You're starting from that's your initial and ending at your final, and the specific heat of copper is 0.385 joule over gram times Celsius. So this is your C right there. Okay. Now let's plug into this equation. Well, it's asking for joule, and joule is represented by the variable Q. So in this case, we are solving for Q, and again, Q is equal to m. Cat, and of course, let's plug into the equation right here. So right here, we would have your m right there. Now let's continue. So in this case, can we plug in the values? What's the values for m? That's mass. So that is twenty-seven point zero. And what is your specific heat capacity, which is point three eight five? See, if you know the unit and you know what the variable represents, you just plug it in. And then, lastly, your delta T, which is gonna be your final eighty-five minus your initial. In this case, it's eighty-five point zero minus your thirty point zero. And all you have to do is just plug in here, twenty-seven point zero point three eight five, and then final, which is eighty-five point zero minus thirty point zero, and that's it. Now let's plug this into our calculator using parentheses. And notice how I didn't use the multiplication sign, because when you have a number using parentheses, they are multiplied to each other. And this is our answer in joules. And notice how I have two boxes. The first box is your number, and the second box is your unit. And in this case, if you notice, is the system gain or loss energy? Well, this is a positive values, so this means it has gain energy. If it's negative, it will lose energy to the surrounding. So in this case, the system gain energy from the surrounding. Now let's try one of the most challenging problem. In this case, what would the final temperature if three thousand joules were added to? Eighteen point five grams of water at twenty-two degrees Celsius. 
And the specific of water is 4.184 joule over gram times Celsius. And we know right away we have to use Q again, equal to M cap. We don't know if Q is positive or negative. Let's read back. Well, first of all, think about it. It's asking for the final temperature, right? And we know that it is 3,000 joule will add it. Well, think of the word added. What does that tell you? It is positive. There you go. So Q must be positive. So in this case, Q equal to M is missing right here. And determine the sign for Q, of course, is positive. Well, in this case, let's go back and plug in the values. Well, this is our Q, and it is positive Q, so it's positive 3,000 joule equal to M times C delta T. Well, our M is gram. That's be your mass right there. So we have 18.5 gram. Well, we also know our C as well, which is 4.184. There you go. And notice I didn't plug in the unit because we have a lot of number to work with. The more units, the more number you have is going to confusing us in the long run. Okay. So now let's plug in the equation. Well, we know that we are asking for the TF, okay? So TF, because that's the final temperature. So we know a delta is what? It's always final minus initial. Well, if this is in terms of temperature, we have our TF minus TI. So we don't know anything about TF, but we know about TI. It is at 22 degrees Celsius, so 22.0. Now, can we simplify this using our Google calculator? Let's plug this in. Well, I can simplify this side, okay, for sure. And notice how I use parentheses again. And this gives us 77.404. So we have 77.404 times TF minus 22.0. Notice how this is multiplication. So now we can actually divide by 77.404. This would Simplify equal to 1. And if we do that side, we will do the same thing to this side. 77.404. And what do we have? And this turned out to be 38.75 or 38.76. Equal to TF minus 22 degree. So now, can we solve for TF? Yes, we plus both sides by 22.0. That equal to 0. And if we do to that side, we got to do to this side as well. Plus 22.0. And what is our TF going to equal to? And our TF is equal to 60.76. And there you go. So let's plug in our answers here. Well, in this case, what we have here is 3,000. And what's missing here? Of course, your M. Well, what is your M in this case? It is 18.5. And what is this TF minus? And 18.5 times 4.184, that's your C. And then we have multiplied by TF minus what? Well, TF minus TI, which in this case is 22.0. And then over here, we have what? The same values, 3,000 joule. And we have simplified the equation by multiplying these two number. We have 77.404. And TF again minus TI, which is 22.0. And we have TF minus your TI, which is 22.0. And lastly, we did the math. Simplify this equation to solve for TF. We have TF equal to 60.76. And there you go.